Hello. Sorry, Joy. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. Okay. So this morning for breakfast, I cooked um, a mushroom stir fry and then honey glazed ham. That's what I'm gonna call it, even though it's just brown sugar glazed. <laughs> um, and some rice. So. To cook the mushroom stir fry, earlier I chopped up the vegetables and put it in the fridge in a container, like a Tupperware container. And I put um, Brussels sprouts, carrots, and mushrooms, um, and celery in that. And then um, I also chopped up some uh, onions and put it in a separate container. So I put like a cup of that in with some butter and olive oil and some salt. I didn't actually put too many herbs in to this morning or spices. Because uh, early in the morning and sometimes you can't handle all that spice. But I did for the, the ham. You chop it up into cubes and then fry it in some butter in like a dish thing and then once it's like browned oh my goodness can't say my eyes once it's browned then you put in some brown sugar kind of stir it up until it bubbles up a little bit and then I put in cornstarch and water mixed together cold water and put that in and then it bubbles up a little bit and once it gets thick that's when I take it off the heat and it's ready and um, in that, I also put some hot sauce and with the ham when I was just um, frying it at first. And then I put some more in the sauce and then some salt in the ham and some salt in the sauce. Cause of, just because the ham wasn't that, uh, it wasn't that salty. That's the only reason. But if it's really salty, don't do that. It's too much salt. <laughs> much salt. <laughs> And then for the rice, for that you just put um, one part rice into two parts of water. It's like the same amount, but just um, so if you put one cup in, you put um, two cups of the same amount. Like two cups. Sorry, that was confusing. Okay. If you put one cup of rice in, then you need two cups of water. Okay. And then you boil the water and then um, and then put the rice in and turn the heat down. And then um, uh, have the heat on but down for like 10 minutes and then take it off the heat and let it um, soak the rest of the water up off the heat so it doesn't burn that's how I do it and I like to put a lid on it so that the not too much water is escaping up at the top so yeah that's how I cook this breakfast I know it's not traditional but it has like meat and stuff in it and my stomach was upset this morning and I needed that meat <laughs> so um Hold on. I cooked. <laughs> I cooked. I typed out a meal plan for breakfast. It was. Um, it started out with. Okay. Yesterday. I made like waffles with strawberries and whipped cream and uh, syrup and brunch. No, not brown sugar. Syrup and butter on it. It was really good. Um, that was yesterday. The day before it was supposed to be like a bean soup. I was supposed to cook the honey glazed ham, but I didn't that day, so I did today. Um, but it, I find it really helpful to type out a calendar. The calendar is free to print out on my computer. I don't have Office 365 where I can just type out a list and print it out. But I do have the calendars that I can print out. 
So I did that just for breakfast. And then I'm going to save some for later. To see if I need to, like, you know, eat later. And the goal is to cook enough to last the whole day. And possibly the next day. So anyway, I hope you learned something from what I said or got something out of it. Um, thank you for your time. You take care. Auf Wiedersehen. Mm -hmm.